So everything that I named literally came up to under a hundred dollars. Hey best friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about how you can start your very own lip gloss business in 2021. So if this is something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. If you are new here, welcome best friend. I am your new best friend, Kaya. I make videos about beauty, business, and lifestyle. So if this is something that you are looking for into a best friend, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification bell on so you won't miss when I upload. So first, I just want to start off this video by saying Happy New Year. It's a new year. I hope that you guys have your goals set in stone, ready to go. If you don't, it's not too late. This year is the year of wealth, abundance, and prosperity. We're going after everything that we set our intentions to, okay? So in this video, I will be giving you everything that you need in order to start your lip gloss business in 2021. Everything that I will be saying in this video will be linked in the description box below. So make sure you guys check it out. So the first thing that you're going to need, first thing foremost, that you're going to need to start your lip gloss business is you're going to need lip gloss base. The company that I use is TKB Trading. They have some of the best um, lip gloss base out there. The next thing that you're going to need, you're going to need some type of oil, whether you want to use like coconut oil, um, vitamin E oil, castor oil it's totally up to you it's a preference i advise you to look up um the different types of oils and what it does for like the lips and the skin before you start that way you know what you're selling and what you're giving to your um customers the next thing that you want to use is optional you don't have to use this but this is something that um you can add a little gas to your lip gloss is flavoring you can also find these flavors on Amazon as well. They have different flavors like pineapple, fruit bun, fruit punch, grape. You know, who don't like a, a nice flavor lip gloss? Because sometimes I know I'm guilty. I, I get my lip gloss a little bit out all the time. Um, so it's just it's just something that's girly and cute. The next thing that you're gonna need is uh, to decide on the colors and the pigments that you want to use, like decide on what type of colors you want to use. Um, the lip gloss base and the oils, they come in a natural clear color. In order for you to get like the different colors and um, like sparkles, glitters, anything that you want to add into your lip glosses, you're going to have to get uh, pigments for that and add it in. So just decide on what type of colors that you would like to use into your lip gloss. The next thing that you're going to need is your wine or squeeze tubes. These, everything that I listed, you can literally find on Amazon. You can also get a vendor on alibaba.com, but for starters, because we're just starting, we're starting our business from um, scratch, we're going to use Amazon because you can get, um, if you got Amazon Prime, it can come in two days. And on top of that, Amazon got literally everything, so why not once you start off and it's like at your at your fingertips, literally. Because sometimes when you start um, ordering things from overseas, it can take a while. And we're trying to get our things up and running for the new year. Yep, so the next thing that you're going to need is syringes. The syringes are used so that when you, once you, after you're done making your lip glosses, you're going to put it inside of the syringe so that it's easier to squeeze inside of your wine or squeeze tube. The next thing you're going to need, you're going to need some gloves. You want to always, 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 always use gloves when you are handling lip gloss, any product in particular that you're going to be shipping out to your customers. This way that the, nothing gets cross contaminated. This way the customer feels like um, especially with everything going on with, you know, what's going on. Um, your, you and your customers can feel safe. And it's just, you know, just <laughs> dealing with lip gloss is things that's going to be touching someone's body. You want to also, you want to just make sure that you're protecting, you know, not, don't do it with your hands, please. Do, do not do it with your hands. So the next thing that you're going to need is some plastic or paper bowls. Um, these things, you can get these literally. I saw some on Amazon, but it was like $10. You can literally get a 30 pack of plastic bowls from Dollar Tree for a dollar, literally. So get some plastic bowls because you're going to need these when you're mixing your, um, your lip glosses together. The next thing that you're going to need, of course, you're going to need spoons so that you can mix your um, lip glosses together. You want to keep paper towel on hand. You can also get this from Dollar Tree for a dollar as well. When you're making lip glosses, you are prone to make a mess. It's messy. It, it can get messy. But to like kind of make sure that your space is as clean or, you know what I'm saying, just organized as possible, you want to make sure that you have paper towel on hand. That way you can 
set your paper bowl on top of the paper towel so that whatever leaks or whatever kind of tries to get everywhere, it'll get on the paper towel so you won't have a big mess at the end. You know what I'm saying? The next thing that you want to get is some wet wipes, like wet disinfectant like wipes, like Lysol wipes or things like that. You want to get those types of wipes because, like I said, it does get messy. And also, too, with everything that's going on in the world, you want to make sure that your workspace is as clean and, you know, as sanitized as possible so that your customer knows that they're getting something that's clean, that's good, they don't have to worry about any issues or anything like that. So, and this is also good just to be clean, especially, you know, just being a business owner. The next thing that you're going to need uh, in order to start this little block business is bubble mailers. Now, you do not need to get custom bubble mailers, bu ugh, bubble mailers in the beginning. And what I mean by that is when you see business owners with the holographic, the pink, the purple, all those different types of uh, bubble mills. Now, they are cute and they do add on to your brand, but you do not need these things in the beginning. You can um, go on USPS.com and go to their mailer part and they have free mailers that they will send to your house for free. You just have to make an account with them, but they will send it to you, ship it to you for free and you can use those to ship your items out. But if you want to spend an extra buck and you want to, you know, spice up, add a little brand into your business, you can also get these bubble, you can get bubble mailers on Amazon.com. They have all different types of colors and things like that. I also have some link in the description box right below. The last thing that you're going to need in order to start your business is some thank you cards. When people purchase from us, it, even though it's not necessary, it's also, it's just a good thing to do to let your customers know that they are appreciated and you value their customer, value them as a customer and you appreciate their business. So just writing a little thank you note, just saying thank you for your business, just personalizing it. In the beginning, you can at least um, write them a little thank you note to put in it um, when you ship them to them so that they feel, you know, special. So everything that I named literally came up to under $100, literally. Under $100, you can start your business today. Um, you do not have to have a big budget. Literally, social media is free. You can promote on social media for free. If you have friends and family that will wear your lip glosses, that's promotion, that's for your model, you know, how to model your things, that's free. If not, if you don't have those things, you have yourself as well. You can do different looks. What I would recommend, um, little side note tip, for promoting and um, just coming up with content, go on Pinterest. Pinterest will literally be your best friend throughout this entire experience. It will help you say you don't know what type of content to create or you stuck and just don't know what to do. You can type in Pinterest lip gloss, lip gloss combos. All that, I'm telling you, stuff will pop up and it will give you ideas of content to do. Now, do not, unless you want to, unless you know who picture it is or video it is, do not just post on your pages or promote with other people's work because people, especially as business owners, you don't want nobody to, you working hard and you, you know, putting things out content and somebody just comes around and just steal your stuff. Like, you'll be mad. So, get inspired, but do not steal people's work. To see a whole video on how to create content step by step how i create my content um let me know down in the comment section down below and i will be sure to make that video for you guys if you guys found this video helpful if you learned something new if you feel encouraged if you feel inspired to start your business if you know that if you got a hundred dollars and you about to go buy that stuff right now so you can start your business let me know down in the comment section down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can become a bestie and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post these lashes, this lip gloss, and this hair. Keep it to it. It's from my company. I run a business called Wacky Material Beauty, where I sell custom wigs and beauty products. If you guys are interested, I will leave that in the description box below too as well. But until next time, you guys.